period went long run. Maria, congratulations. Um, less than a couple weeks ago, you had uh, performance that you didn't seem too happy with. What did you do over the last two, two weeks to kind of bring your head back to where you needed to be? And tell us about the competition you did. Thank you very much for the congratulations. But uh, I can tell you that I already forgot, I've already forgotten about that competition and that result that it made me happy. And uh, I listened to my coach and he said just listen to me, follow my instructions and everything will be okay. So I followed all the instructions with all the training sessions and I listened to my coach and today I can say that I really struggled for every job. What was she saying to you during the competition, especially when the bar was getting up to two meters, which was your personal best? And of course, you jumped twice, not just two personal bests, but two world on the 20 records. Uh, always uh, when you finish uh, after my personal best, but now maybe after two meters and two, uh, I want to improve. <laughs> And uh, I think the, my coach, to, I want, and to say, okay, jump, I'm believing you. <laughs> um, next question. Maria, uh, why was the ball set at 2.08 and not 2.10 for record high? Oh, I'm sorry, this is Kenny, why the ball was only on the ball and was in the news? Потому что хотелось прыгнуть только в России. Все. The answer is very simple. To zero eight is the national record of Russia, and I wanted just to jump it today.
feel. To someone in the crowd, I presume. Can I just confirm that was your father in the crowd? Yeah, I was talking to my dad, who's also my coach. <laughs> and um, how far up was he? I mean, you didn't, I mean, I was looking around, I could recognize your father, and I didn't see him right on the barrier. Must have been sitting right high up. No, he was actually probably second, third row up. This is for Maria. No. So you said that each jump today was um, a challenge. Um, what was, what, at what height were you most satisfied with your jump technically? Did you have a, a jump that you were happy with today? Дело в том, что я не смотрю на свою технику. Я не могу рассказать вам технически, как я сегодня провела соревнования. Для меня было важно только то, чтобы планка оставалась на месте. Uh, I can say that I never watched the technique of my jumps and I cannot really explain and uh, say how my jumps were technically today from a technical point of view. For me the main point and the most important point is that the bar stays on the uprights. How easy is it? Uh, your father probably knows it, he knows it for so long, so it's easy to communicate and what he tells you. Uh, is it much easier working with a father and probably with another coach? Um, yeah, I've always been coached by my dad, and so me and him have more than just a father-daughter relationship. We just have almost like friends. <laughs> There's some times when I do cross the line and I have to remember that he's my dad, but we just, we travel so much together and it's easy for me to look at him and to take guidance from him because he's been at this level before and he's really had the team depending on him. We've got time for one more question. Thank you. Yaroslava, I'm guessing you finished high school now, so can you tell us what your plans are off the track? Are you going to go to university? What are you studying? How is that going to work with your athletics career after today? <coughs> Yes, uh, I, I want to be a coach and uh, I hope that my life will uh, be in sports and athletics. But are you going to university next year? Uh, this year I'm first uh, course. What sort of studies are you doing? What studies are you doing? Um, physical, uh, no, sports university. Okay, so that will conclude our press conference. Thank you very much. Uh,